First, Jesus engaged her with a question. Notice his style. He did not address himself, but immediately asked a question that got the woman's attention. Will you give me a drink? This question is comparable to asking, Will you give me a few minutes? You will discover your own approach, but please keep an open mind to other examples. After Jesus' question, the woman responded, You are a Jew, and I am a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? We can translate this to say, I don't know you. What do you want? Do not worry if someone rejects you. Many people are busy but there will still be those who will talk with you. Jesus does not waste anything, because everything he does has a purpose and a meaning. Jesus answers the woman with, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. In the same way, our dialogue should focus on what we possess, which is the gift of eternal salvation, and the remission of sins. If people truly understood what we possess, they would be lying at our feet begging for the good news. Oh, how beautiful that would be! If only people would cry to the Lord Jesus Christ, for this is our desire. This is our mission. We must paint the picture of the gospel. So let us continue. Jesus says something completely stunning to this woman and does so with boldness and forward motion. Obviously, the woman doesn't know to whom she is speaking and responds with, You have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well and drank from it himself, as did also his sons and his livestock? Notice how deep this conversation is getting. It began with a simple question from Jesus, Will you give me a drink? Then moved to the woman audaciously asking, Are you greater than our father Jacob? Our evangelism should be of a similar nature, beginning at a surface level and then diving deep into the heart of the person, as we will see Jesus do. Jesus responds, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. It is amazing to analyze this portion of scripture, which many, including myself, have passed over without seeing the perfection of Jesus even in a simple conversation. Here we see him expand on his earlier statements and explain this water, which only he possesses. Like Jesus, we also possess a priceless gift that the darkness hates, for the thing we possess is pure and unconditional love, the very person of Jesus Christ. Upon hearing Jesus' words, the woman says, Sir, give me this water so that I won't get thirsty and have to keep coming here to draw water. Understand, we possess a river that never ceases. The liquid the world drinks will cease, but the love of Christ will not. If people understood Christ and His redemption, they would never touch sin again, because they would be truly satisfied in Him. This woman, upon hearing the words of Jesus and what He possesses, desires the water. She is straightforward and wants it immediately. What would we do in this situation? Many of us would jump at this and say, All you need to do is pray. Just repeat after me. Jesus does things a little bit differently because he is the perfect evangelist. So let's analyze his approach and learn from his wisdom. Thank you for listening to this sample. The full-length audiobook may be purchased exclusively at audible.com, amazon.com, or the iTunes store. For additional Christian audiobooks or to learn how we can narrate your own book, please go to godsounds.com. God Sounds, where faith is heard.